Hey guys, what's going on? I had a quick shoe review. The Hoka Mac. So, uh, I actually got this shoe during a Columbus Marathon Expo. So, every time there's an expo, uh, after getting my race kit, uh, I like to look around because I know they always have like really good deals, uh, especially for running shoes. So that's actually how I found the shoe. But first, uh, I wasn't really sure uh, if I want to get the shoe because this is not even my size. This is 9.5 and uh, I wear size 10 so it's like ha it's half size smaller than my size. But uh, I know this particular brand Hoka, uh, sometimes uh, they recommend to get a uh, half size smaller. So since I was there, uh, I was able to try it on and uh, it fits well. But still, uh, I was... I was not really sure to want to get because uh, I just didn't really know a lot about the shoe. But for a steel price, I got this shoe for 40 bucks, so why not? So after using this shoe for quite a while, um, running different surfaces, different distances and paces, now I can tell you guys what I think about the Helka Mag. So this shoe is actually extremely light and I was actually surprised when I weigh it. This shoe weighs 7.8 ounces. So this is actually like super light compared to most Hoka's nowadays, even to Clifton's, like, because I know like I have Clifton 3, like, I can't really remember, but at least it's like at least 9 ounces or so. So compared to most Hoka's nowadays, this is actually extremely light. This is like, yeah, 7.8 ounces. That's, that's actually super light. And uh, the cushion, or I would say the ride of the shoe, uh, it's actually a bit firm or a bit firmer compared to Clifton 3 but uh, it's comfortable and I actually like it when especially when I pick up the pace I get that really good pop so yeah for like faster days like I it's actually really good I can get that I can feel that there's like bounce or like pop it's actually good and the awkward material of the shoe the first time I actually use it it's actually really firm and stiff but um, after using this for a little bit uh, the upper opened up a little bit and it became more comfortable and uh, the material is actually very thin and uh, on this particular uh, on this side of the shoe uh, it actually has some holes for I think for ventilation that's probably it and uh, the toe box of the shoe is actually pretty narrow but uh, I didn't feel that my toes are too constricted just have that really good snug while I run and anyway, that's how I want my shoe to fit. I want that real good snug, especially when I'm actually picking up the pace. Uh, I don't want my foot to actually move around. So that's how I always want my shoe to fit. Like I want that real good snug, but of course in a comfortable way. And the only problem that I actually encounter in this shoe, as you can see on this side, like the side cushion of the shoe is actually like a lot on this side. So since I'm actually a four foot runner, so when I hit the ground on this side, it takes time before this inner part of the shoe actually to hit on this side. So I was not really getting like really fluid or like smooth turnover when I, when I was running. And it actually bothered me a lot. And, uh, some of my runs sometimes like I would even stop because I can really feel that, you know, like this, this side of the shoe is just, it feels pretty bulky and it's like, taking time for me to actually get my next stride. In order for me to actually get like that really good smooth and fluid turnover, I, I have to hit like really far the shoe like here. So it's like toe striking. I just need to avoid this part of the shoe so that I would have that really good turnover. So like, yeah, like I said, I have to toe strike in order for me to get that really good turnover. And it's just really frustrating. But if you're the type of runner that hits the ground kind of like in the inner part of the shoe or kind of like in the middle, this shoe might actually work for you because once you hit the ground kind of like on this side, it balances out on the other side. So you might probably have that comfortable and like smooth turnover. Unlike me that I kind of like hit the ground kind of like on this side. So it takes time for the other side of the shoe to actually hit the ground. So it delays my next stride. It's just not very smooth for me, like it just doesn't work for me very well. And like I said, this shoe is extremely light, like it's 7.8 ounces. And uh, 
the ride of the shoe is actually great, uh, especially if you're doing like some faster days, like some faster workouts. This shoe has like a really good pop and this shoe in general is just very comfortable. Thank you guys again so much uh, for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video.